guys welcome to my channel today I was going to discuss Honda Acura drive cycle procedures they're kind of a pain in the butt took me a few tries to get it right there are more than one way of doing this this is the way that worked for me the other way did not work for me and it's a very specific pretty uh, involved little procedure to get what you would call your IM readiness monitors uh, to clear so you could have a situation where you have no engine light but if you disconnected your battery or you cleared a code it's going to reset all of your monitoring devices and they will only reset themselves under certain driving circumstances and you won't be able to get an inspection if you have two of these New York only allows one so after doing some research and struggling with it for a while this was what worked for me and it did work so the first thing is your fuel level you don't want it near empty and you don't want it near full it has to be in this three-quarter range in between empty and full that was one thing now Another important thing is having a good battery and alternator. Your OBD2, your onboard diagnostics, are not going to cycle the readiness monitors properly if the battery and alternator are not good. But mine is not 100% and it still worked. But just keep that in mind. Now, first of all, you want to do this from a cold start. When the car's been sitting as long as possible so that... It, it actually measures that the coolant temperature and the ambient air temperature match or else it will not go through the cycle. So do it from a cold start. Turn your AC on max. Turn your rear defroster on. And that's the button. That's not the, that's not the dial. That's the one you just push the button. And you'll want to time this. Let it idle for two and a half minutes. It's okay if you go a little more. Do not go a little less. Once the two and a half minutes is up, Number two, turn off your AC and rear defrost and drive it. Only go quarter throttle. Don't floor it. Don't go half throttle. Go nice and easy. And find a place that you can get it up to 55 for three minutes and try and hold the needle. Don't use cruise control. You can't use cruise control. Hold the needle right at 55 for three minutes. Once the three minutes is up, what you're going to do is coast. Make sure nobody's behind you. Let off the gas and let that baby coast down to under 20 miles an hour. That's very important. Also, do not touch the brake during this. I found the longer the coast, the more likely it'll clear. So I did the coast on a hill. I, I was able to, to coast this down a hill and it nearly stalled, you keep it in gear, you don't put in neutral, all you stick shift guys like me, that was my big mistake, is every time I did the coast portion of this, I was throwing it neutral because it's a stick shift and it's just a natural thing for you to do on a stick shift. So keep it in gear, don't hit the brakes, just let off the gas and let that baby slowly come down to under 20 miles an hour. Once you've finished that, with three-quarter throttle, which lay in newer, lay in newer, get it up to 55 and hold it there for five minutes. No AC, no defrost. Just hold her at 55 for five minutes. After the five minutes, the last step will be to coast one more time. Leave it in gear. Let her coast down to 20 miles an hour or less using no brakes. Now, Depending on the age and condition and mileage and everything of your vehicle, you may have to do this more than once. I had to do it twice, and it did work. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a video about how to check. You can actually check your IM readiness without a code scanner. The Honda has the capability of showing you that on the dashboard, and I'll do a video about that. But these are, these are the five steps to clear your IM readiness codes, your system monitoring for your EVAP, for your catalytic converter, your all that canister P emission stuff. 
And it was so complicated, I had to write it down because I kept doing it wrong. So I wrote it down. This isn't even just for you guys. This was to help me out too. But anyway, that is the procedure. It's pretty specific, but it did work. It did work. So thanks for watching and good luck. Hope it works out for you. Bye-bye.